Now, let's talk about that deal we talked about last night with the shooting, the sad domestic yeah. incident over there in Rankin County. Mm-hmm. Uh, prayers, prayers to the Northwest Rankin family this morning. And I, I mean this with all, I want to give this the proper gravitas it deserves. Pr- pr- prayer to the Northwest Rankin family. Uh, Ashley Smiley. Uh, I, I know Ashley. I, I, I've met her over the years. I just can't quite put my finger on it. You just know when you know somebody. Mm-hmm. Ashley's a 10th grade, I think it's math teacher at Northwest Rankin. Some Something happened at the house last night. I don't know what led to it. Maybe you'll never know when evil takes over somebody. But she was killed by her 14-year-old daughter. At least that's the reports that are coming out. Yeah. And the, the stepdad was shot while trying to get the gun. Uh, I talked to somebody that knows her. She just they're blown away that this could have happened. Uh, said that the the fourteen year old daughter actually had a thirty on the ACT. Oh wow! I mean, just wow. borderline genius, mm-hmm. and just sweet as can be. I saw rumors that maybe it was over a cell phone. It, it's a uh, moot point what it's over. Sure. Um, unfortunately, it's happened. I, I'm guessing the girl is also a student at Northwest Rankin. Mm-hmm. So Northwest Rankin students today had to go to school. One of their favorite teachers. Is no longer with us. A student, no longer with us. Well, that's going to be in jail. Yeah. And uh, just a, a, a loss of two great, uh, potentially great people. You know, and I'm not defending whatever the girl did was absolutely evil. I'm just saying this is clearly a girl who had every the world in front of her, had the opportunities, living out in the suburbs, highly intelligent, and 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 chose to throw it away. You know, for whatever reason, her mother seems to be loved by everybody, uh, is now deceased. And this is where I'm going to shift gears a little bit here. Um, shame on Jacksonians. And I, not everybody, but a loud minority online. I'm going to be polite and call it the loud minority and not say the majority. A loud minority online decides to, I was out to a dinner last night. It was a it was a alumni dinner for the Real Men Wear Pink American Cancer Society. Mm-hmm. I was out at this dinner last night, and obviously I was not on social media during this time. I come back in about nine o'clock, and I'm looking at all my online activity, and a lot of insane far left Jackson nut jobs are tagging me in these stories about this incident. You ain't gonna talk about this. You ain't going to talk about this. If this was Jackson, you'd be talking about it. You know, never mind the fact that I actually broke the story before I left the house with raw video from the scene. Mm-hmm. But that's, I, I'm not trying to take credit for that. I, I'd much rather have never done it if I'd known that it was a domestic situation. I don't talk about domestic stuff. I don't like talking about domestic stuff. That stuff, when people say crime happens everywhere, that happens everywhere. It doesn't matter how rich of a neighborhood, how gated of a community, or how single wide your trailer is. At uh, domestic situations happen everywhere, and to, and for you people that don't know the difference, domestic does not just mean man and husband and wife. It means anybody inside the house, mm-hmm. a relative, whatever. It could be mom and dad, you know. D- I mean, dad and child, whatever. Um, and, and I and I was bringing the point up that the, I can draw an example. The same situation happened in Jackson yesterday. Yeah. Um, a black girl shot her mom. Yeah, I saw that. I chose not to report on that because of the same thing. You know, like my videos online, I tell you all the time, I'm kind of playing a wrestling character. Mm-hmm. Um, I, I don't take I take it serious, but the whole FIFO thing, all that, every situation ain't a FIFO event. A hundred percent. I know exactly what you're trying to say. You know yeah. what I mean? And, yeah. and I clown a lot online. It's almost like these kinds of – it's it's a crime, but it's not the same kind of crime that we're talking about. Yeah. It's it, I mean, it's it's these domestic situations that, you know, maybe some, there's some mental illness problems, whatever, whatever it may be. I mean, it's a crime. It's, it's just a different than somebody robbing the gas station or, you know – jacking you in the street or whatever you know, it is a dope boy getting killed by a dope boy yeah that's that's, just a, a, that's a two for one nobody no mm-hmm. nobody cares if a if thug a goes to, goes to to the grave and thug b goes to jail for the rest of their life outside yeah. of their immediate family it's a net positive 
for the community if you get two thugs off the streets. Yeah, I mean, I don't think most people, when you, when you see that kind of crime, is like, oh my God, how tragic when dope dealers kill each other. I don't think everybody does that. But when you see whether it's the kid in Jackson killed his mom or killed her mom, I guess it was, and this, like, this child in, in um, Flowood that did, I mean, those are just tragic situations because it's a, those are, you know, those are situations that, th- those are normal course of crimes. They're just obviously mental illness problems or whatever could have been, you know, prevented or maybe so. But, you know, when the, when, when the dope dealers kill each other, it's not really, I mean, no one's like, oh my God, like, this is horrible. Yep. I mean, it's horrible in terms of the societal stuff, but it's not like on, on an individual basis. It's just not the same. There's so much that happens in Jackson that I don't report on. Mm-hmm. I mean, for for me, it's gotta it's gotta register as a a fafo type thing. That's kind of there's kind of a floor. Yeah, you know, it's like um, some things are tragedies, and some things are are survival of the sickest. You know, like you know. Anyway, either you know what that means or you don't. But it, it just it, it's disgusting, and I've, I've really mm-hmm. t- I don't like normally bringing stuff like this to air. You know, because I like to be entertaining, but it, it, it's worth mentioning because mm. I know the people that are complaining about that. They're only people who see my stuff online. They don't get up and listen to the radio show at seven in the morning. Yeah. But I still want to put that out there because it, it very rarely does something eat at me, but this ate at me a little bit. Yeah. And and, like, and it's interesting that both situations happen in Jackson and Flo at the same time. And at no time did I look at that and be like, you know, I always text you two when I, I'm like, oh, this is the next FAFO grand yeah. champion. I mean, I never would have crossed my mind that either one of those situations would fall into that kind of category. It just doesn't. Mm-mm. And maybe that's, I don't know, maybe this is something about me. I don't know what it, but I, because I've seen so many different types of crimes and, you, you know, you, you could, you could sit there and say, or I think people could lie and say, oh, it's all the same. It's crime. No, it's not. It's just, there's just, there's just levels. There's time, and I'll draw from my experiences. You know, when I prosecute a case where there's a really good victim, like the one I'm, you know, went out to LA for that case, that's a different kind of crime. It, it's a, that's a, it, that's a what, college student that got kidnapped and yeah, killed. Yeah. That's falls into the category we're talking about with these. You know, with the these two people in Jackson and Flowood, it's a different kind of crime. The lady that was killed, um, you know, elder lady that I prosecuted, the guy received the death penalty, um, James Hutto. Like, that's a different kind of crime. The drug dealers that kill each other, that's not one that's on top of your list. It just isn't. And yeah. it, just being real, you know, people can hate that if they want to, but it's just a different, a different scenario. Absolutely. Anyway, just wanted to put that out there. Prayers, thoughts and prayers. To the Northwest Rankin family, to the to Ashley Smiley's family. I mean, talk about a terrible situation. You know, imagine you're the grandmother or something like that. Um, you, you've lost a kid at the hands of your grandchild, and know that you're going to lose them to jail. I mean, it's just what that does to the family dynamic has got to be absolutely horrific. Yep. That that family's changed forever. Sure. I mean, to put it lightly. All right, let's take a break. Come back. We're going to shift gears. Get back to what we do. This is the Clay Edwards Show with Sean Yurkron live on 103.9 FM WYAB.